let us now examine a little bit closer those values. And what do we see? If we would simply sum up these three values, we would get altogether 0 0.028. However, what we see here, we have only 0 0.019. So we see that actually the combined standard uncertainty is quite similar by its magnitude to one of the uncertainty components. And this uncertainty components, as we, as we easily can see, is the largest of the three. This is the uncertainty due to the calibration. And this is now the general property of this square type of summing that Whenever you sum quantities of different magnitude, then the result will be often quite similar to the biggest one. Meaning, the biggest one will dominate in the result, suppressing the smaller ones. And this is also the reason why, if there are some very small uncertainty components, they wouldn't even have any influence at all. So suppose we would have some 0 0.001 milliliter uncertainty components here. It would be fairly safe to neglect them because they wouldn't influence the combined standard uncertainty at all. True, in the case of uncertainty modeling and initial calculations, usually all uncertainty sources that are meaningful are considered and they are quantified because beforehand we don't yet know which of them are important and which of them are not so important. We have now managed to complete our first uncertainty calculation. And it is now interesting to think, what does this uncertainty tell us? And this uncertainty tells us the following. If we now do more pipetting with the same pipette, then the volumes that we get with this pipetting are in the following region. In this region, with the probability of roughly 68%. So every time we quantify our uncertainty as standard uncertainty, we always have this 68% probability.